Hi, I'm Shamel Lane, and I'm here with the fourth video in the series for the Studio Calico July kits. Today I'm working with the main kit plus add-on three, which is called Foursquare, and it includes all this loveliness, um, different pattern papers, including this lovely nostalgia from my mind's eye, and this Keezy art print with um, the alphabet on one side and the red arrows on the other side really nice and all these little embellishment goodies some washi tape and uh, two alphabets and a stamp set now the stamp set you're seeing me use is in the red rubber cling variety the one in the kit is in a clear um, is it the sorry is a clear stamp set and um, so it's the same design it's just um, a different finish where I had to um, get a little prototype so that I could do this in time for you so everything else is the same just keep in mind that yours would be clear in the kit okay so I'm going to use this plus the main kit and for the layout I'm going to do today I'm going to add um, one sheet of cardstock because I don't have any craft um, to work with in the kit at the moment and the photos I'm going to use are going into an album where I'm just using craft cardstock is all of my background but I'm gonna use quite a lot of patterned paper to cover this so you're really only gonna see the craft around the frame so that is a little bit of a cheat please forgive me okay so I'm gonna start with that I have two four by six photos that I'm going to be using and I really wanted to pull on this aqua in the the beautiful water there so I'm going to be using this aqua print and um, from Keezy art from the add-on and then also one of the boxes here, this aqua with the heart. And that's where I'm going to start. I'm going to put everything else from the kit over to the side and trim this just a bit so that it can go on that craft frame. And I'll go from there. The basic idea I'm going to start with on this page is then that I've added this to the craft border, uh, craft cardstock, which is a little bit of border of craft. And then from this paper in the main kit, which has that multicolored chevron on the other side. I've cut an eight and a half inch square and I've matted the two photos as one um, photo block on the green cardstock from the main kit. I'm just going to layer that on top. So that that box is on an angle but the photos are straight. And then I'm going to start working on an area of embellishment in this part of the page. And I want to build up to this, um, this journaling square or accent piece on top of that stack. But I need to add a little bit underneath. So I'm going to look for some smaller pieces that I can add underneath there. And I'd like to be able to pick up the orange, but I'm not sure that I have anything. So I might go with a yellow that would be a little bit more complementary um, to this idea of aqua and, and green. Um, so something either in an orange or a yellow to build this up. I could find a little bit of orange. I just need to stretch it to get the most from that little bit of orange over the layout. So I have this piece from the main kit and then one of the other uh, journaling boxes from this page is this one with the wild aqua bird on it but this orange background. So what I'm thinking is that I can layer these two like this but then I can come back and just trim off the piece that's not going to show so that I'll be able to have a little bit of orange elsewhere on the page. And I'm going to do the same thing with this. I'm going to cut it um, just off the middle so that I can use part of it in this area of embellishment and then part of it probably up here or somewhere else on the page, but I'm thinking there. So I'll start layering these so that they don't show that I've cut that extra piece off. And I want this to go right up against the photo so it looks like it's tucked underneath there. But really, it's just cut flush. So attach these. And I like this, sec this second shade of aqua, so I kind of want that to show as well. Just a little bit. should work right there. And then I know I can come back up to this corner and work in 
some sort of little orange embellishment piece up here. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be yet, but um, I can go from there. And that way I know that I have some balanced embellishment on a diagonal across the photo so that I'm bringing two different things that you can see. Um, they'll connect as you look at the page and right in the center of them you'll find the photos, which is where I want your eye to go. So that will work for a good balance. So we're going to see um, what kind of title I want to add on here and um, where the embellishment will go from there. I'm thinking that I'll have room here for journaling or if I decide I want to write more and put it in a pocket then I might um, pop it behind the photo here. One of those two options. The next thing I want to add to this kind of combination is I want to bring in some more of this green. I have the washi tape. So I'm going to add some of that here. I'm just going to start it so it looks like it tucks underneath there, but really it's just going to go right over the top. And then I'm going to repeat that up here. I think. There, and I can, if you want more of the green, then you can just layer two layers to get a little bit more of the green of the design. On this page, I'm just taking one segment of the pie chart stamp and then using brown ink and I'm using the back of one of the journaling cards that I didn't think I would use and um, which has a similar pattern to what appears here this in the background of the heart here is that same pattern but in a smaller print than the reverse side of the journaling cards so I'm just going to use just that one segment of the pie and I'm going to stamp a few on this however many I can fit and then cut it out cut each one out separately so I can use them as separate embellishments. So if I can get three, that would be perfect. These, I can then use them as a, a layer in the embellishment. And what I want to do is put pop dots on the top edge, which is going to be the curved edge of each piece, um, but then use flat adhesive, just my normal adhesive roller, on the bottom edge, which will be the pointed section, so that I can get a little combination of both elements, so that I can have it flat at the bottom, but then raised up at the top. And I'm just going to add one of these to each of the areas where I put the washi tape. And I can tuck this underneath so that I'm connecting the embellishment with the photos. And this one I'll need to trim part of it because it will hang off the edge of the page. But I'm just going to create the embellishment as the, at the whole size and then I'll cut off whatever remains at the end that goes over the edge. On each of these pie pieces that I want to add some more embellishment and I want to work up to these buttons but I want a piece in between a bridging layer because I think that if I just put the button on top of the big piece of pie the buttons going to get lost so I need a little bit of paper in between I've used a, a pinked circle punch to go back to this page or this paper from the main kit and just punch three little aqua circles and that gives me a piece that will rest in between and then I can use that to layer with the button and keep things in a bit better and um, bit better ratio of size so that I don't jump from something really big to something very small. Back to each of these and add something small like possibly even more of the, the little blue gems but I'm not quite sure if that's the right thing yet so I'm going to go ahead and add the title and the writing and then I can come back to sprinkle a little something over that embellishment. So in the add-on I have the green and the orange so I can um, bring that in and I'm going to use the orange for the location and then make the title in the larger green letters. I kind of, I don't really want so many things on the tape where it says date, so I'm just going to put the letter stickers right over the top of that so that it's not so obvious and I'm just using it as the pattern that way. Okay, I'm nearly to the end now. 
Um, I finished the title and I brought back in those same blue thickers from the main kit. I am starting to run out of some of the popular letters so I've had to mix the uppercase and the lowercase at this point but I still like how it fits there so that's okay. I want to come back over here and I remember I had that little bit of orange that I had picked out at the beginning. So I want to add that in and what I'm thinking is I want to extend this piece so that the orange has that um, prominence on the diagonal. So I'm going to cheat a little bit and cut it into two pieces so that one can go underneath and then the other one can peek out the top. And then I said I wanted to go back and add a little sprinkling of something. I realized um, instead of using the jewels at this point, and I might still throw them in, but I had that paper, or that little bit of orange paper I'd saved from down here. So I'm going to punch um, some small butterflies from that. And um, I do have a bit of a habit of adding butterflies to everything. So if you're not a butterfly fan, then just substitute whatever sort of uh, embellishment or motif that you like if you like the rest of the design and um, I'm going to add one butterfly to each of the little uh, pie slice embellishments and then I'm thinking what I might do is come back in with those blue gems and add one on top of each of those. Now with the butterflies what I like best is to put a pop dot under one wing but not the other so that there's a bit of movement rather than just the flat shape on the page. And just like everything else, I want to overlap wherever possible. So I'm going to add that there. So then I wanted to try what does it look like if I put the blue gems in the center of each butterfly. Yeah, I'll give that a try because once I've brought in the blue lettering, I like to add something around the rest of the page that has that same color. So this is a really easy way to make those thickers fit pretty much any layout you can make with any of the kits. And I think just to finish that off, I'll add a little bit of Mr. Huey around these little areas. So I'll just find the right color and then I'll be all finished. I just want to add a little bit of shadow or detail and not a whole bunch of color to these areas. So I'm just using um, gray, actually, the Mr. Huey's in pinstripe. And I'm just going to cover up the photo and sprinkle a little bit around each area of embellishment just to give it a little bit of texture. And also because that Keezy Art paper has a white and um, paint splatter effect on it already so that will make it match quite well and then you can't tell kind of which bit comes from the Mr. Huey and which bit was already printed on the paper I think I misted my hand more than the paper that time So just enough to add a little bit of a shadow, a little bit of extra detail. And then I need to, I think I might move this butterfly so he's not falling off the page quite so much. I'll trim this pie wedge first. Come back in and ink that edge and then let's see where I can, yep, then he can fit so that he'll sit right on the page. Okay, so that is um, the fourth layout finished using um, the main kit and the third add-on. So there's just one more left to go. I hope you'll come back and watch again. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.